it's a great story about someone who really has everything and could just be happy and enjoy life, but he has this profound concern for other people and uh, and for the world, and so he can't he can't just relax and enjoy it. He has to do something about it. Elvis Presley was um, very concerned uh, in 1970 about where the United States was. Um, he was a, a guy who many people may remember. He, he was a huge supporter of law enforcement. He had a collection of badges that he'd gotten from lots of different law enforcement uh, facilities all across the country. Uh, he was an honorary policeman. And, and uh, he was concerned about the protests against the Vietnam War. He was concerned about the lack of respect for law enforcement, uh, the lack of respect for the presidency. Um, a lot of things he was concerned about, the Black Panthers and infiltration by communists. And he, he was, far, I think, far more conservative than a lot of people might have suspected. It is a story about these very powerful men coming together. And in the interpretation of the film, and in the script that I received, you know, they are both, they have these real points of contact because they're both very frightened about the ways that the world is changing in 1970. And, um, you know, so I hope that on some level the film, when, when we're done with it, will also offer some kind of meaning about what it means that these super powerful white guys in North America in 1970 are both scared of the counterculture. What I liked about this script is that it took a very isolated incident and found a way to, to, to take that incident and show you so much about who Elvis was, uh, even though you didn't get to see him, you know, when he was a baby, when he was a teenager, and the whole nine yards, but just in, uh, concentrated in this event is so much of the substance of Elvis's character, so that I ultimately, ultimately think you wind up finding out more about him through this story than you would if someone tried to tell you his entire life story, because that would just be absurd. I think over the period of time that they spent together, they began to realize that they were far more aligned than they could have imagined. They had very similar views about the world. They came from similar kinds of backgrounds, had made something of themselves. And I think that after a while, um, Nixon just really took a liking to Elvis. and. Elvis took a liking to Nixon, and by the end of uh, at least our version of, of events, um, they, they really seemed to enjoy each other's company, and I think that that's, that's half the fun, too, is watching how that develops. It's got a tone of Dr. Strangelove, um, and it's, I think it's really funny. It, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, uh, you know, the Best in Show guys who did all those movies, uh, that whole group. It's kind of got silliness in it, but everything is played very straight and, and dry, and that makes it, I think, funnier. I kind of enjoyed the way that the screenplay sort of played with the concepts of how this came to be, you know, and a lot of it is is pretty factual. I mean, we're, we're pretty spot on in a lot of cases, and then in some cases, we take some fun, creative kind of liberties, because at the end of the day, you want it to be a, a fun and, and enjoyable film, and I, and I think it is.